And yes, it's hard to believe 25 years has passed already. Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Royce from Pedal Metal. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, or tonight's video, depending on when this drops, is a 25 year old new old stock Hot Wheels 20 car gift set that I just found in my stash of stuff. Uh, I had purchased this new, if I remember correctly, it came from a BJ's wholesale place. And yes, it's hard to believe 25 years has passed already. I had never opened this. And here's the back of it. They sold these around, I think, Christmas time. So it is dated 95, made in China and or made in Malaysia. It says states at the bottom. But I had never opened this before, and I kind of hesitated because I don't know, is it worth more as is in this cardboard sleeve, or is it worth more of the cars individually? I don't know, but I have a tough time. It's it's hard to store this, so I think I'm going to open it up. It's just, it, it takes up a lot of real estate. So I think I'm going to try, try to be as careful as I can, and, uh, but we can, well... I'll we'll try to be as careful as I can here, but I don't think that's going to happen because the way that the way this is glued together. Oh, maybe the glue is getting brittle from age. Oh, maybe not. Well, eh, not too bad there. But we will check out each of these. Kind of cool to see them. There's couple good ones in here it's not as easy as I thought it would be to get them out of there now that one and down in the corner does not want to come out of there does it there it comes ugly looking whatever it is BMW first up we have a 70 Plymouth Barracuda there's something on the trunk. I don't know what's on the trunk there, but it's kind of cool to see some of these in the old pack. Next up, Double Demon. It says new up here at the top. I don't know. Buick Stalker. I don't know, what's it say on the door? Mori or something. Mori? I don't know. Next up is a 96 Mustang GT in white. With red interior. Something about birthday club on the back. All right. Just had to go check on Chester to see what he was barking at. A pretty girl jogging by, so I don't really blame him for barking. Next up, we have a Lumina van. This one's actually pretty cool looking. Green with a black bottom. Cards are, some of them, a couple on my nose to have a little crease here and there, but for the most part, these all look pretty nice. Velocitor is a stock car and it says hot wheels across the top red interior i guess it's an unlicensed obviously but it says hot stocks <laughs> that sounds funny hot stock styling kind of goofy camaro wind this one's a california custom looking wild one here um I should have paid attention on all the other ones. I didn't even notice they all have this little saying or some saying at the bottom. It says sports car styling. But boy, is that thing flashy with the pink chrome zoomies and uh, intake air. And it has, uh, which becomes part of the chrome. The pink chrome is part of the window, so you can't even see in. That thing's wild. And it's got a Corvette front end, it looks like, on it. Back is kind of plain, but that one's pretty wild. Yeah, they all have something like a little cute saying at the bottom there. Oh, uh, we have the Porsche 911 Targa. 
uh, which I actually do not have this in my Porsche set. I have, I think, the ugly fluorescent green version. But I don't think I have any loose silver ones. I'll have to find one because I hate to crack this open. This thing is crisp. The card and everything is mint on this. Here it says open roof. But that one looks pretty, pretty darn good with the black interior. That's a turbo wide body, turbo tail on it. It's a kind of a chunky casting. It's actually pretty large compared to some of the other ones that they had made. Flame Stopper 2. Another one, crisp card, and it says arm lifts and lowers in the bottom there, it says. Another fire truck will do fire eater two. What was the other one? Flame stopper two and fire eater two. And it says removable ladder. That's pretty cool. Next up is 65 Mustang convertible, which of course uh, this year Mustang will re release that again in a light blue. And this is a little bit darker bluish. Dark, almost like a dark bluish purple with the white interior. Another one on Christmas card. It says hood opens on it. Birthday club on the back. Next up is Ford XR4 Ti. Which over here in this country we had the, it was listed, I think what's sold as the Ford Sierra and the Mercur XR4 Ti. Says doors open. Very cool to see. Next up, we have the one that gave me the trouble, the very last one I pulled out. This one also says doors open. It's a BMW 325i and some hideous graphics. I'm not sure what's going on with the uh, kind of like a James Bond spy looking graphics on it. it's got like crosshairs like a sniper's scope crosshairs i don't know i think it's not very attractive but the, it's on a crisp card it's very mint that's for sure even after struggling to get it out next up we have the mercedes 2.6 which was a 190 mercedes in gold This is European styling on the bottom. Next up, we have Zender Fact 4. If you're not familiar with Zender, they were big in the 80s and early 90s. Uh, they made body kits and wheels for mostly for German vehicles, but their wheels were pretty, pretty sought after. But they did make uh, a couple, two or three, I believe, of uh, their own cars, like the owner made his own, which is pretty cool. And there you can find them in the uh, road and tracks specials issues. This one is probably the heaviest of the set. It's probably besides the drag bus, one of the heaviest Hot Wheels cars ever made, Thunder Roller. And it's got, it's very, very chunky now. This does have a plastic base, but it has got some weight too. We got the old style wheels on the back. But boy, that, that sucker is cool. It's in a burgundy, like a metallic burgundy color. I'll have to look that one up on eBay. I have a feeling that one might be worth something there. Next up, we have the Mercedes 500 SL. It's gray with red plastic interior. Got a lot of wheel gap here in the back. Holy cow. It just looks cheap. I don't know. Some of these, some of the older Hot Wheels, some are just so hit or miss, but... This is a time period. I think some of them are really cheesy. Some are good and a lot are cheesy though. Uh, Taboa, which was, if you look at it, it's a snake, I guess, is what it is, a fancy vehicle. It says a spoiler coiler, okay. Nothing special there. Jaguar XJ40 in a medium blue color. Looks pretty good. And it looks like it's either, it looks like white Interior of the light blue tinted glass. 
Tells you European styling down in the corner. Pretty cool to see. And last but not least, we have Stock Factor, which this to me always just looked like it was supposed to be an RC car. I don't know if it was supposed to be a real dune buggy. I don't know. It's just a, a non-licensed one that they come up with, I guess. It says Off-Road Racer, collector number 700. But it always kind of reminds me of like a Tamiya uh, RC car or something that they were trying to go after for that. I don't know. To get kids to to like it, but it's got the older style wheels on it. Pretty cool. So there you go. That is the 1995 20 car gift set that I had purchased new. Or I think my parents actually purchased it new at BJ's. And I got it for Christmas. That's what it was. I'm pretty sure now that I remember. So a long time ago. All right, so there's all of them laid out on my workbench. We got a couple glares and reflections there. Sorry about that, but you guys get the idea. It's 20 cars, and it's pretty cool to see the old blue packs. Older, I should say. It's hard to believe 25 years has passed since this was given to me for Christmas the one year. And it was pretty cool to open it up. And like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep that cardboard sleeve or not. But if you like this type of video, be sure to give me a share, like, subscribe, all that. I don't know. That made no sense what I just said, but I'm getting, I'm tired. Um, <laughs> if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It's free. You can't be free. Hit the bell for notifications. And let me know down below in the comments, which was your guys' favorites. Did you like, is there any certain ones you like? There's only a couple fantasy, what, two ridiculous fantasy ones in there. And the rest are actually all pretty decent. So you guys have to let me know down below which is your favorite. And you can have multiple favorites if you like. I There's probably at least a half dozen of them that I like, or should say really like. And um, that silver Porsche is one of them I'm tempted to open up, but I don't know. I'll have to see, man. It'd be better just get a loose one. So, all right. Till next time. I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye now.